This is the basement floor refinishing and painting. Okay, here we are again in the basement, continuing to paint. We just finished up the walls. Now we're on to the floor, painting around a little cricket. Zoom. <laughs> So we've washed the floors, swept the floors probably 10 times, um, lots of preparation. Now we're putting down a floor paint with an 18 inch roller. There he is at work, that's my handsome man. Say hi John. Hello. He's doing a great job. He's done a majority of this, getting the studio together for me. Couldn't have done it without him. So John is rolling on the floor paint, and we decided to use an 18 inch roller on a handle for this as well mostly because we had the setup for the walls and it covers a lot of ground now we kind of decided that it may have been a eh, not a bad idea but a nine inch roller would have worked as well the basement floor isn't level and uh, you can see here that it doesn't cover all the way because the roller is so big John has to put a lot of pressure in order for it to really roll on bare concrete and garage um, we were thinking about doing the dry lock on the floor as well but then we decided um, to go with this bear is pretty good pretty good paint good reputation so if anything doesn't come out quite right, I do know that they are good on their word. So, this is the, gonna be the studio. We're gonna do two coats of floor paint. Um, this is the first coat, second coat has to go on anywhere from four to six hours, the second application. So we're gonna bust this out and Maybe by 9 o'clock, we'll be uh, putting a second coat on. Okay, guys, we just finished the first coat. Of half. Like anybody else, we have a lot of crap in our basement, so we weren't able to do all of it at once. So we're working around what we have for stuff, um, put it all on one side, and completed this area. I'm gonna do two coats once it dries, then we'll move everything back over, and we'll do this side of the basement. I'm not too concerned about this side right now, just because there's the furnace, and the oil tank, and um, there's some oil on the on the floor, so we still have to work on that. Um, but my studio part is done. So. So excited. We have finally finished painting the floors. This is the other side. Now, we decided to be safe and tape off this area and not paint it. Had some issues in the past and a lot of spotting, discoloration. I'm just not sure if the paint's gonna stick to it. So for right now, we decided 
that we were just going to make a nice clean line and not paint that area. That will give us a little bit more time to properly clean the surface. Um, maybe do a sample to see if the paint's going to apply well and stay. Or maybe we just won't paint. Not 100% sure, but again, like I said, we're playing it safe. One issue with that I saw is when we peeled the tape up, kind of chipped a little bit. Not a big issue. We'll just sand it down and brush it on. Came pretty, came out pretty good. It's a few spots. I know it's really dirty over here, but a few little spots. This is where the washer and dryer was. Um, and the paint just clearly wasn't cured enough because when we moved it back, it did chip. So we're gonna try sanding these little areas down, reapplying. Shouldn't be a big deal, um, but hopefully that does it. Oh, I'm so happy with how it came out. Got a lot of stuff going on now. That's okay. Oh, looks so good over there. Now the next step is organizing and shelving. I'm so excited to finally get organized. We have moved this stuff probably four times. I'm over it. So we're gonna use this area here for shelving. Um, I'm gonna do a video on that. How we build, how we decide to build. Been kind of brainstorming because my foundations block. I don't really want to put a whole lot of holes in the foundation to mess with the integrity. So we're going to be freestanding or maybe use the rafters. I'm going to kind of brainstorm. Okay, guys, well, that's enough for now. Kind of a recap on the floor and the basement, how it came out. I think it came out really good. I'm gonna continue to make videos and once we get all set up and we've been putting some traffic down on the floor I'll do another video on how it's holding up so stay tuned <laughs>